Hello Maranatha students. Well, I hope that your summer is still off to a great start and just an amazing time. You're enjoying the lots of warm, warm sun. Um, I have my adventure hat on, so I like to call it slash my hiking hat, my beach hat, all sorts of things, activities, but I wore it today because I think the book that we're reading always takes us on a little adventure and the character that's in it always feels like he's on an adventure. So I decided to wear a little adventure hat today. So the book I'm going to read today is called Pete the Cat Groovy Imagination. And I always think that Pete the Cat always goes on the most fun adventures. So come on an adventure with me today. Here we go. Pete the Cat was happy. Today would be so much fun. Chilling out, catching vibes, sand, surfing, and lots of sun. But when Pete looked outside, he got down in the dump sad. Dark clouds and pouring rain could make this good day turn bad. Maybe that's how your day is. Hopefully not. Pete didn't complain. He didn't feel blue. Pete knew he could find something fun to do. Pete drew a cool picture. Pete strummed a little tune until he saw something too good to be true. Pete found a big box. He looked up and down. He turned it to the side and he spun it around. The box was brown and it was strong. The box was wide and tall. Maybe this wasn't just any box after all. This box rocks. The box was big and it was groovy. The box could be something new. Suddenly, Pete's imagination grew and grew and grew. Maybe it was more than just a box. Maybe it was more than it seemed. Pete closed his eyes and had an out of this world dream. What do you think he's gonna make it into? It was more than just a box. It was a groovy rocket ship. Pete saw the moon in his outer space trip. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Pete was headed home. He landed, splash, into the sea. Pete had to think fast. Now what could this box be? The box was big and it was groovy. The box could be something new. Suddenly, Pete's imagination grew and grew and grew. The box was now a yellow submarine. Pete dived way down in the sea. Pete wore his goggles to see the underwater scene. The submarine crashed. When it reached land, now the box was lying sideways in the sand. But what's a cat to do with a box that couldn't stand? The box was big and it was groovy. The box could be something new. Suddenly, Pete's imagination grew and grew and grew. And pretty soon, the box was not just a box lying on its side. It was a cool cat race car relieving for a fast, fast ride. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Pete run the, won the race just like that. Then splat, the race car went flat. Now what good of a box that looks like a mat. The box was big and it was groovy. The box could be something new. Suddenly Pete's imagination grew and grew and grew. Even though just a flat box was not in the plan, Pete imagined it was a stage for a rock and roll rock band. Sometimes our plans don't just go right. Don't go right. 
but it doesn't mean the day can't be out of sight. If you use your imagination, you'll see just how groovy your day can be. When you want to dream of something new, thinking outside the box is the grooviest thing to do. The end. All right, well, that was a great book. Thanks for joining me in my adventure hat because Pete the Cat went on lots of adventures with his groovy imagination box. And I hope that you can have lots of adventures this summer and maybe make your own groovy imagination box. I hope you have a great rest of your day and a great summer. Thanks for joining me.